So I wanted to do a kind of a quick video talking about order, right? Uh, you know, so distinguishing between data values and then our ability to place those values in order in relationship to other data values. And I thought I would use some props here. So I've got some friends here, um, some, some records that I enjoy listening to. Uh, this is one by Sullivan Esso. Uh, this is the new uh, Fiona Apple uh, record. I'm not getting any uh, product commission for showcasing these. These are just records I happen to like. And then this is one by a group called London Grammar, which is also very good. So individually, these are like, you know, three different values that I might, you know, put into uh, one of the individual variables that we were talking about last week. But when I consider them together, now I can put them in order. You can imagine that I'm going to choose an ordering of these that I'm going to play on my player, right? So maybe I'm going to start off with Fiona and then go to Sylvan, right? Second, and then finish up with London Grammar. That would be one approach. Um, but there's multiple different orderings that I can put these in and the order matters. Right? The order is important. The order now becomes part of the data, it becomes extra data. Right? So again, it's one thing to have these three records, right? which, which I do. Uh, it's another thing to say, I'm going to play them in a particular order. Um, and so arrays, which are our first data structure that we're talking about today, do that. They add data to existing data values. They add what we refer to as metadata. It's data about that data. It's the order in which those data values are placed. And that order is incredibly important. So we'll talk again about music toward the end of the lesson, but we'll come back and talk about digitization and how you convert analog information, which music is fundamentally an analog phenomena, to digital, to numbers, so that a computer can actually manipulate it. But, you know, I just want to drive home this fact and it's good to start to understand this when we talk about simple data structures, because it's true of all of the complex data structures, that, well, some of which we'll talk about in this class and then others of which we'll talk about in the later classes, which is you start with data and then you put it into some type of arrangement or some type of structure. And doing that adds extra information and that information is important. 